Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Tiggins with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you for listening and joining me on this Tuesday evening for prayer. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. The Bible says, let everything that had breath praise ye the Lord, for his praise shall continually, continually be in all of our mouths. Amen. It is always a blessing, brothers and sisters. It is always a blessing to be in and a part of the house of the Lord, uh, to be considered amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Amen. For uh, there is always something for us each and every. Uh, you may not even see it. But brothers and sisters, there's always something for us to give God the glory, praise and honor that he and only he so richly deserves. Uh, which, so would you join me, amen, this evening, amen, in uh, giving praise to the Most High, giving praise to Almighty God. Uh, for when we learn to do that, he will come and make his home with us so that we can experience both his fullness and his wholeness. Bless his holy name today. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, would you please, if you could uh, like, amen, and share, amen, this prayer, this post, uh, this intercession. Uh, so that we can continue, brothers and sisters, to evangelize together. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And remember always, brothers and sisters, uh, to do that. Now, before I go any further, I always have to begin uh, and start by giving honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me uh, to preach his word around his holy name today. Brothers and sisters, tonight's scriptures will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse four through five, which says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And also from the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 12, which says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And make no mistake about that, brothers and sisters, we are in a wrestling, amen, for our very spiritual lives. You see, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has already paid the price. He has already won the war, amen. But there are many battles that are still taking place, amen, for uh, our souls, uh, to, to have us lose, amen, uh, something that the Lord has already uh, won the price for us, amen. He has already won the war, brothers and sisters. Nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. However, we can find ourselves um, in a sort of uh, a, a zombie state uh, where essentially your uh, spirit has been saved, but brothers and sisters, the flesh, amen, the flesh is still running rampant and the enemy is still trying desperately uh, for us to uh, not partake of the new life uh, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has for us. So we are no doubt in a wrestling, brothers and sisters, in a war, wrestling for our very souls. Amen. So would you come join me tonight? Amen. And let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you tonight, Heavenly Father, to lift up your name and your name alone. For there is no other name under heaven, Lord, which is worthy to be praised except for your own. There is uh, no other name, Heavenly Father, in heaven except your own, Heavenly Father, that is worthy to be praised. For you are, Lord God, the Most High. And you sent, amen, your only begotten Son, uh, so that who, who has, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For you are our Lord and Savior, amen. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are uh, the first and the last, Heavenly Father. And none, Heavenly Father, a man shall proceed uh, your positioning because before anything ever was, Heavenly Father, you were. Uh, and long after anything ever is going to be, you always will be. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, this evening for this knowledge. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, this evening for this truth. Amen. Let us not live life according to our own truth. Uh, let us not live life according to our own word. Uh, for your word says the kingdom of God is not simply something that is in word, but in power. Amen. It's not simply what we are going around speaking, but it is what we are going around doing, Heavenly Father. Uh, so let when you return, Heavenly Father, for us, let us uh, bring forth the work. Uh, let us bring forth 
the power, Heavenly Father. Let us bring forth the fruit, amen, that we have been amassing and accumulating over the course of our lives, uh, whether they be good fruit or bad fruit, all will be exposed, Heavenly Father. All will be presented, amen, in the presence of the Most High. So we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. First of all, to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father, amen, for uh, waking us all up today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, strengthening us and protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger, both the seen and the unseen. We want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, uh, for bringing us together again when many of our brothers and sisters were not so fortunate, Heavenly Father, to make it back here. Uh, many did not return home, Heavenly Father. Uh, many relationships did not make it, Heavenly Father, between now uh, and the last time, amen, we assembled under your almighty name. But we want to thank you today, Lord. We want to thank you today for preserving us. We want to thank you today for covering all those, Heavenly Father, around the world who call upon your name day and night, Lord. Uh, many are crying out in pain from behind bars and incarceration. Many of them are crying out from the homes, Heavenly Father, as children, Heavenly Father, or entrapped wives uh, under uh, bondage husbands. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight, amen, for all those who are standing in the need of a miracle, uh, a miracle only that you can perform uh, by your own holy name. So we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, uh, for this platform to be able to submit all of our requests to you, Heavenly Father, to submit all our supplications to you, amen, so that we can bring forth Amen. The programs to bring forth uh, the portion of the kingdom, Heavenly Father, that you have bestowed upon us to do, uh, that you have bestowed upon us to carry out in the community. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Bless your holy name today. Lord God, we thank you tonight for your sweet Holy Spirit. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit descend upon each and every single one of us, over every man, woman, and child, amen, that is listening to this broadcast over every man, woman, and child, Heavenly Father, that is tuning in, Heavenly Father, from afar. Uh, for we want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for protecting all the travelers overseas, Heavenly Father, wherever they are going. We pray for their secrecy. Amen. We pray for their security in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray, amen, for at the end, all of us are just so journeyers down here on earth, uh, for the earth is not our permanent home. Uh, so we want to thank you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ for this revelation, for this truth. And more and more, Heavenly Father, as we begin to walk in your truth and live in your truth uh, and buy into, amen, your truth, uh, we will have life and we will have it more abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray over all the church leaders. We want to pray over, Heavenly Father, all the church members tonight. Lord God, we know uh, that accountability is always going to start from within and that accountability must start at the top. So, Heavenly Father, those who are carrying forth your word, uh, those that are in leadership positions across the world, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that any malfeasance happening, Lord God, they bring it before your almighty throne, Heavenly Father. We pray uh, tonight, Heavenly Father, those who are uh, abusing, amen, the sheep, Heavenly Father, we want to pray uh, for their salvation, Heavenly Father. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, for them because uh, many are watching, Heavenly Father. Many are watching down here on earth and you, Heavenly Father, are watching in heaven and you are seeing the abominations, Heavenly Father, that have taken place right on the inside of the chambers of the house, Heavenly Father. It is you, Heavenly Father, that is watching these things from afar. Uh, you are watching the abominations taking place in our own hearts, in our own minds, which is why none of us, Heavenly Father, has stones to stone one another because the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have. Uh, that means the paralegals, the legal assistants. Uh, that means the government officials, the politicians, the businessmen, the businesswomen. Uh, that means all the religions, Heavenly Father. That means the men and the women and the children, the men, the women and the children. It does not mean one gender. What? It does not mean one skin color. It does not mean one nation. It does not mean one denomination. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight, lying prostrate on the ground with our face literally to the ground, Heavenly Father, because walking around in pride is not going to help any of us. For the Bible says pride cometh before the fall, Heavenly Father. So we want to thank you, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you, gracious Scott. Uh, we want to thank you, Grish. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to bless your holy name tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, for every breath that you have been bestowing on, upon us in this brand new year, Heavenly Father. Amen. We are here, Heavenly Father, uh, in the month of February. And we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for blessing us 
uh, for blessing us, Heavenly Father. Uh, uh, to this point, Heavenly Father, for many, again, did not make it, uh, but you saw forth, Heavenly Father, so that we would make it, so that we would be here to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Father. Uh, we want to thank you tonight as we pray covering, amen, over our brothers and sisters around the world, those who are tuning in and those who are not able to tune in. We pray uh, you're covering over them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over all of our international brothers and sisters, uh, whatever continent, whatever nation that they're on. We pray uh, that your hedge of protection be around them, Heavenly Father, for your word says that we are wrestling with principalities. Amen. We are wrestling with principalities, a principality, Heavenly Father, uh, as you already know, Heavenly Father, uh, is a city-state. Uh, a territory, um, a government, um, a region, Heavenly Father. We are dealing with regional enemies. We are de dealing with regional legions, regional adversaries, Heavenly Father, that are positioned around the globe, that are positioned within states, within counties, within municipalities, Heavenly Father. So we pray as we wrestle with the principalities within the municipalities, Heavenly Father. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, for victory. Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for victory in the name of Jesus Christ. For uh, your servant Daniel was praying to you, Heavenly Father, and uh, his prayer was held up for 21 days. The prayer had already been answered, Heavenly Father, uh, but your messenger told him uh, that a principality, a man, a prince, a man, was holding him down. Uh, therefore, another, a man, one of your heavenly hosts, a man, was dispatched to help him fight, a man, through the enemy to push back. Uh, through the stronghold. So we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that whatever prayers are being held up, Heavenly Father, whatever prayers are being held up, we pray for dispatching a man of your heavenly hosts, uh, an additional reinforcements, Heavenly Father, amen, to fight the arrest uh, of the prayer, Heavenly Father, to fight uh, the arrest of the blessing, for the blessing may be being held up, but we want to pray, Heavenly Father, that the angels are dispatched, Heavenly Father, uh, to break through, amen, to push through, amen, to fight through, amen, to slap with the word of God, Heavenly Father, to uh, use the shield of faith. We thank you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are coming into the knowledge of these things, Heavenly Father, we pray that we are not afraid of the enemy because the enemy is not afraid of us. Uh, but what the enemy is afraid of is the name of Jesus Christ and those who are covered by our almighty name. So we want to pray tonight. thanking you, Heavenly Father, for being covered. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being able to move forward to war and to press and to push in, to war, to press and to push in. Heavenly Father, for the blessing to push in for the answer to our prayers, to push in, Heavenly Father, to the answers, amen, to the solutions that we have been praying and fasting for for years, to press in and push uh, for the miracle, Heavenly Father, the miracle and the deliverance, Heavenly Father, that so many are desperately seeking can only come from you. It cannot come from the pastor, Heavenly Father. It cannot come from the bishops. It can only come from the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Heavenly Father. Uh, we praise your holy name tonight. Uh, we pray, Heavenly Father, over our brothers and sisters in Africa and Asia and Europe and North America and South America and Australia and Antarctica and the islands, Heavenly Father, wherever all they are located around this world, we pray that your Holy Spirit descend upon each of us, Heavenly Father. We pray your Holy Spirit descend upon each of us, Lord, as the morning rain and dew descend upon the leaves of a tree. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your spirit manifests itself within us, Lord, so that we may be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Uh, we pray that we are strong in the Lord and in the power of your might, Heavenly Father, not the power of our skin color, uh, not the power of our genders, uh, not the power of our members, Heavenly Father. But we pray tonight, amen, that we be of a sound mind, amen, not of a spirit of fear, Heavenly Father, not a, not a spirit of cowardice, Heavenly Father, but we pray that we move bold, amen, to be strong in the Lord and the power of your might as we move across Jericho. Amen. As we move across Jericho, we pray that the walls come tumbling down. If Heavenly Father, we follow your instructions to march around the wall seven days. Amen. Seven days. And on the seventh day, Heavenly Father, seven more times, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, carrying the ark forward as we carry the ark forward, which is the name of Jesus Christ, the covenant. Amen. That you have shed uh, anew. Uh, amen. And we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for deliverance. We thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, again, for your truth. 
as we live in your truth, Heavenly Father, as we seek to improve in your truth, we pray against the spirit of racism in this country, Heavenly Father. We pray against the spirit of racism in this world. Uh, for we know we there are many enemies and principalities and rulers of darkness and wickedness uh, that are positioned, Heavenly Father. And you are all sovereign. So you know, Heavenly Father, all the things that are going to be to bring about the manifestation of your will. Uh, but we pray, Heavenly Father, tonight, amen, that our families are loosed uh, from this bondage of slavery that is loosed uh, from the spirit of racism, Heavenly Father, that are loosed, amen, from this colorism aspect, Heavenly Father, where the parents continue to put one child against another uh, and favor one child against another because of their skin tone, Heavenly Father, not because they are either too light or too dark, Heavenly Father. We pray against uh, the racism in the home, the racism in the womb, the racism, Lord, not simply that we see in the world and in the streets, uh, the racism that is present during the nine months of pregnancy, Heavenly Father, the racism and colorism that is present, Heavenly Father, in the household when couples make condescending comments towards one another, which are passed on to the children, which the children pass on from generation to generation. We pray against the spirit of racism, Heavenly Father, where one person believes, amen, that they are superior to another uh, simply because of the color of their skin. We pray against, amen, the spirit of racism and colorism in the household, Heavenly Father, where one person believes uh, that they have been ordained, amen, by the Most High simply because of the color of their skin. Heavenly Father, we pray against these demonic strongholds. We pray against, Heavenly Father, uh, these wickedness mindsets, mindsets of maliciousness, Heavenly Father, your word calls it uh, the leaven of mal malice and wickedness. We pray against these things in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to break it, Heavenly Father, over our lives. We want to break it and send it out of our households in the name of Jesus Christ. Our households can be free of these demons, Heavenly Father. These things, uh, can we're going to cast them out in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who do not believe that we can get rid of those things, Lord, we want to separate ourselves from their presence. For Heavenly Father, when you perform your miracles, Lord, you took only certain ones with you because not everyone is going to believe. Not everyone is going to believe the battle can be won. But we believe tonight uh, that your word says that we are more than a conqueror. We believe tonight uh, that your word says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we pray against uh, the spirits of racism, amen, the spirits of colorism in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray against genderism, Lord God. We want to pray against the battle between the man and the woman in the household. Heavenly Father, we want to pray against it in its roots in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to pray, Lord God, for a spirit of love. Uh, the Bible tells us to love the Lord our God our, with all our mind, all of our heart, all our soul, all of our being, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And then your word tells us to honor thy father and thy mother. Amen. Your word tells us, Heavenly Father, that how can a man love God uh, but hate his brother? Amen. How can we love God, Heavenly Father, and then hate our wives? Uh, how can we say we love God and then we hate men, Heavenly Father? How can we do these things? these abominations in the name of Jesus Christ? How can we believe we are superior to women uh, simply because we were created to be men? How do we believe we are superior, amen, uh, to, uh, to, to men uh, simply because they are a woman, Heavenly Father? Heavenly Father, it is you, Heavenly Father, amen, who is worthy to be praised. It is only you, Heavenly Father, that was ever meant to be put on a pedestal uh, because you made not only the pedestal, you made everything there is, everything there was, and everything that will be. None of us have made a thing, Heavenly Father. Uh, so let us not be put on pedestals. Let us not be worshipped, Heavenly Father, uh, for we have created idol gods of our genders. We have made the man, a man, an idol god to want to worship. Uh, we have made the woman an idol god to worship. And now people are worshiping children and continuing to sacrifice children's Lord. Uh, we want to pray against these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to pray against these abominations in the name of Jesus Christ for your word says that you see everything, uh, that the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Uh, there is not a dark corner. There is not a closet. There is not a basement. There is not an attic. Uh, there is not a thought. Uh, there is not an intent, Heavenly Father, uh, that escapes your vision. Uh, for the word of God says that surrounding the throne, amen, are the four beasts, amen, the seraphim, amen, with eyes all in and all around their body saying, holy, 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 amen, Lord God Almighty, bless 
bless your holy name today. Uh, so we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, amen, for this truth. We want to thank you for this revelation, amen. We pray for the revelation of Jesus Christ into our life uh, so that we understand, Heavenly Father, amen, that your ways are not our ways, Heavenly Father, uh, that your thoughts are not our thoughts, Heavenly Father, and you are going to return to pay every man according to what he or she has done. It is not going to be according to what the pastor has said. It's not going to be according to what the deacons have said. It's not going to be, Heavenly Father, according to what the denominations are doing and what the denominations are or are not doing. It's going to be, Heavenly Father, what are we doing? Amen. It's not going to be about the people that we were supposed to hold accountable. It was going to be about ourselves, holding ourselves accountable to your word. Bless your holy name tonight. Heavenly Father, we do not have time and room, Heavenly Father, to point our fingers at anyone else, Heavenly Father. When we ourselves are out of compliance with your word, but when we ourselves Heavenly Father, are continue to worship idols. Uh, when we ourselves, Heavenly Father, are continue to eat and to partake of the unclean things and then to advise the members of the church, to advise those who are following to do the same. We pray against these abominations in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against these unclean agents in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray, Lord, against the infestation, Heavenly Father. We pray to you, Heavenly Father, wondering why there is violence in the land, wondering why there is violence in our households, violence in the men, violence in the women, violence in the children. Heavenly Father, we are wondering why, uh, Lord God, we see violence in the world. Uh, Heavenly Father, you are very clear. Uh, we have brought the violence into the land uh, by failing to reconcile with the Father. Uh, by failing to reconcile our ways, our ambitions, uh, whatever the vision that we believe it should be for men or for women, our vision for the world is causing the world to implode, Heavenly Father. Let us turn back to your way, Heavenly Father. Let us turn back to your word. Amen. Let us turn back to truth, the only truth. Uh, for your word says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, Heavenly Father. The truth is irrefutable, Heavenly Father. The truth is undefeated, Heavenly Father. When we want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Heavenly Father, for making that our realization. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, tonight, amen, for uh, pushing us on our way, Heavenly Father. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace and your goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight for all of our brothers and sisters, Lord God, uh, for those who are suffering from ailments, Lord God, for those who are suffering with sickness and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. There are so many people right now struggling with disease. They are not even able to see out of their own eyes properly. They are not even able to eat properly, Lord. Those have, have been starved uh, and left for dead. Uh, there is food all around them and resources, but they're not able to partake of these things quite yet uh, because their minds, Heavenly Father, have been uh, destroyed. Heavenly Father, the enemy is trying to kill, steal, and to destroy. Amen. It is with our minds that we serve the Lord. Uh, so the enemy is headed for our minds, Heavenly Father. The enemy is attacking us in our brains. Amen. The, and the enemy seeks to have us uh, bond down, Heavenly Father, in ungodly soul ties because ungodly soul ties creates more generational chains. Uh, uh, more generational bondage, Heavenly Father. So uh, let the young people be warned, forewarned, Heavenly Father, uh, that those who go and to seek to live the way that they want to live, understanding, Lord, that uh, they are bringing their own new chains, amen, of uh, condemnation. They're bringing their own new chains, Heavenly Father, of bondage, Heavenly Father. For you, Lord Jesus said, you came not to condemn, but you came to save. Uh, but those who are condemned are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And we want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for your name. Uh, so we want to lift up, Heavenly Father, all of these other diseases, Lord God. Uh, because as we lift them up into your presence, we know, Heavenly Father, that none shall stand in the name and presence of Jesus Christ. Uh, so we want to call out cancer tonight, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for those who had new diagnoses, those that are stage one all the way to stage four, and any other stage, Heavenly Father, that has been created, we declare healing this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, those that are enduring chemotherapies and radiations and all sorts of experimental things, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, that your warm oil of anointing, Heavenly Father, is poured from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Uh, we pray, Heavenly Father, that the next time the doctors, amen, look at the biopsy report, it shows uh, negative in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the intestines are clean and clear in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the medical doctors will be confounded, uh, to be confounded by what they see. And all in the room will have no choice but to give you, Almighty God, all the praise and honor and glory. 
that you and only you so richly deserve. We want to say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For healing heart disease, heart palpitations, irregular heartbeats, and heart murmurs. Any issues of the cardiovascular system, we decree and declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for those who are suffering with Alzheimer's, brain ailments, ailments of the mind, Lord God, for schizophrenias and brain tumors and aneurysms, Heavenly Father, and strokes and seizures. Those who are having multiple personalities, Lord, we cast out those legions in the name of Jesus Christ. But there is no name, Heavenly Father, above your name. There is only one name for us to call on the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, so we declare Jesus, 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 Jesus. We bless your holy name tonight, Lord. We thank you for being free tonight. Lord Jesus, we thank you for casting these things out of our children. Lord Jesus, we command hate to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We demand jealousy to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. We demand envy and strife and discord to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. May all their brothers and sisters join them to be cast out in the streets in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for covering our households. We want to thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for covering our households with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. For we are protected against all lashback spirits tonight, Lord God, for they are angry, Heavenly Father, but we stand strong in the name of the Lord. We are here to decree and declare to take back our households, Lord God. We are tired, Heavenly Father, of being beaten, Heavenly Father, with the same things generation after generation we are tired heavenly father we hold true to your name heavenly father in the name of jesus christ for your word says we are more than a conqueror amen and with you heavenly father it is as with one thousand men lord we stand strong in the name of the lord we thank you for standing strong against the legions we thank you for sending your heavenly host to battle for us we thank you heavenly father for pushing back against the principalities of bats up against the rulers of the powers of the darkness of this world we thank you heavenly father Father, for winning this battle on the inside that we are fighting on the inside heavenly father we cannot do anything before we win the battle on the inside of our own life which is a daily struggle but we thank you lord god for the daily victory in the name of jesus christ we want to thank you today uh, for conquering our internal hate we want to thank you today amen for conquering our internal racism we want to thank you today for conquering our internal genderism battle heavenly father our internal uh, thoughts of superiority heavenly father our internal thoughts of greed and narcissism Lord God, any anger issues, Heavenly Father, that we are having. Heavenly Father, we conquer any murderous spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. For we thank you for taking all these things to the cross. Amen. And we accept, amen, your cross. Amen. We accept uh, your sacrifice into our life. We accept, Heavenly Father, the blood of the Lamb to be smeared over the doorposts. Uh, for your word says that those who have this blood of the Lamb smeared over the doorposts and cast out the leaven in their own households. We cast out the yeast in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. We lay down our pride. Uh, we lay down our prejudice. Uh, we lay down any of these things, Heavenly Father, that are stopping us from being delivered. For we know your Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Your Holy Spirit is here everywhere, Heavenly Father. Uh, wherever we make our bed, we know you are with us. Uh, but we want to cast out anything in our life, Lord. We want to lay it down. Uh, that's stopping us from realizing the true life that we have, uh, the new life that we have in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to cast down these things in our life, Lord, that's stopping our bodies from being healed. Lord God, we decree, uh, decree healing, Lord God, from depression and anxieties and emotional instabilities. We pray, Heavenly Father, whatever it is in our life, whatever it is that's, that's causing us to be put on hold, or causing these things to be held up, Lord God, if it's something that we are watching on television, we pray that it is cast down and turned off. Heavenly Father, we pray that if it's something that we are listening to in our music culture, we pray that the noise come off. We pray, Lord, if it's another ungodly soul to another ungodly relationship that we are in that's stopping us from being physically healed that's stopping us from being spiritually healed we pray that it is done uh, and that it is ended in the name of jesus christ lord god we pray uh, that you burn everything around us heavenly father that is not of god for your word said the fire is coming uh the fire is coming to test all works heavenly father to see what craftsmanship heavenly father is being done uh, so we want to pray heavenly father that any and all thing that is taking place in our 
our life. If it is not of God, we pray that it is ended in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray that it is ended in the name of Jesus Christ. Any relationship, any activity, any addiction, anything whatsoever, Heavenly Father, that is not a man, uh, uh, that is not in compliance with what it is that you want in our life, any ambition that we are seeking, any state of mind, Lord, any career opportunity, anything, Lord God, that is not of God, we cast it down in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for throwing a monkey wrench in it, Heavenly father we thank you not only for the jobs that we have we thank you heavenly father for the jobs that you kept us from uh, we thank you for the careers and the professions that you kept us from we thank you for the networking and business opportunities that you kept us from we thank you for the relationships heavenly father that you kept us from we thank you heavenly father for keeping us from the egypts and the pharaohs of this world heavenly father uh, we thank you for freeing us from the captivity of the babylonians and the romans uh, we thank you for freeing us heavenly father from the doctrine of the pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for telling us to take the stones that we have in our hand for men. We thank you for taking the stones that we have in our hands for women. We want to thank you that for the stones, amen, that you have taken out of our hand when we are casting them down to stone one another uh, because of our incompliance with the scriptures. How can a man stone another man for being uh, not in compliance with the scriptures when your word says we are all not in compliance with the scriptures? Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Uh, for breaking through the strongholds, uh, amen, of superiority in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for breaking through the strongholds of narcissism and arrogance, Heavenly Father. Uh, for Heavenly Father, many have gotten too anointed, Heavenly Father, amen, to realize our own sins, Heavenly Father. Uh, Lord, let us remind, be reminded that we are never too high and holy, amen, to prostrate ourselves uh, and fall down on our face. Uh, for well, Lord, let us always be reminded, Heavenly Father, we are never too high and mighty, Heavenly Father, uh, to make missteps. We are never too high and mighty to never need you, Heavenly Father, for we will always need you, Heavenly Father, because we are merely dust in your presence. No matter what our status is down here in this world, no matter what our status is in the next world, uh, we are nothing but dust in your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. It is only you, Heavenly Father, uh, that breathed your breath of life into us, that gave us a living soul, that gave us a living spirit. It is not anything that we have done, Heavenly Father, no talent, no gender, no nothing we have done. It's only because because of you is all because of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are having trouble breathing. Heavenly Father, we pray, amen, for the pulmonary system, Lord God. We pray, amen, for the respiratory system, Lord God. We want to pray a new a breath, amen, to fill their lungs, Heavenly Father. We pray that the Holy Spirit descend upon their uh, the air sacs in their lungs, Heavenly Father, and fill their lungs, amen, with the breath of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray today for the immune system. We pray for those, Lord God, who are suffering from ailments of the immune system. We want to pray, Lord, where the body is trying to attack itself. Uh, the T cells have been turned to attack one another. Lord God, this is reminiscent and symbolic of what's happening inside the church. Lord God, the church has been infected with a uh, spiritual autoimmune uh, response where the people are turning against each other, Lord God, instead of using uh, the weapons of our warfare uh, for the enemy, we are using them on each other. We are tearing each other down with scriptures. We are tearing each other down as if there were lots of recruits and candidates on the firing range firing weapons at themselves. We have lost sight of who the enemy is, Heavenly Father, and we are fighting one another. Uh, we have lost sight of who the enemy is when we are trying to jockey for positioning inside the church. We have lost sight of who the enemy is, Heavenly Father, while we are trying to anoint ourselves with more titles, more ministry, more memberships, more things, Heavenly Father. Uh, but your word says that the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Uh, you are returning to see, is, is there any power in our titles? Is there any power in our churches? Or is there any power in our household? Is there any power in the work that we are actually doing? Or are we just being puffed up, Heavenly Father? Are we being a puff up, Lord God? Are we bringing more yeast into our households? Are we bringing yeast, uh, which means we are opening portals, which means we are letting in more demonic influence into our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, your word says that as you were preaching in Capernaum, uh, you were in the synagogue in Capernaum. Amen. There was a man that attended church there. Amen. With an unclean spirit. The man had attended there for years, Heavenly Father, and was still possessed by an unclean spirit. Heavenly Father, let us recognize today, amen, that we can go to church every Sunday. We can go to prayer meeting and Bible study every week. But Heavenly Father, we know that these unclean spirits will still try to find their way on the inside.
inside of the church. Amen. That is why, Heavenly Father, your word is clear to us now. We have outreach. Uh, we have networking. Uh, we have ministers, ministries of the Lord. Uh, but now it's time for the inreach. Uh, now it's time for the indwelling, Heavenly Father. Now it's time for the internal biopsy. It's time for the spiritual biopsy for every man, woman, and child. Amen. Listening. Amen to your word. For your word says that those with the ear, uh, let them hear what the spirit is seeing. Amen. It is time, Heavenly Father, for us to look on the inside, deep down on the inside of ourselves. It's not the time to look at what the pastors are doing and the priests are doing. Uh, for Lord, you already know what they're doing. Uh, you told your servant, amen, son of man, look inside the temple. Look inside yourselves. Look inside and see the abominations that are happening on the inside of your mind. Uh, the abominations that are happening on the inside of your thoughts. Uh, the abominations that are happening on the inside of your hearts. Amen. We have no time, Heavenly Father, to look on the inside of another man's heart, of another woman's heart. Uh, let us look at the abominations on the inside of ourselves, Heavenly Father. There we will find all the cleaning we need from now into the day of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your truth. Heavenly Father, we pray for the digestive system, Lord God. We pray that the things that we that are coming from the inside of us, the Bible says that the things that are from the inside is what defiles a man. So we pray, Lord, for our physical digestive system and healing, Lord God, for our liver and lungs and small intestines, large intestines and kidneys and spleens and uh, all of these things, gallbladders, Lord God. We pray healing in the name of Jesus Christ, but we want to pray healing for our spiritual digestive system. We pray that we are getting the right spiritual nutrients in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that we are on the right diet, Heavenly Father, uh, that we are not putting things into our minds and into our spirits, Heavenly Father, that are going to pollute us, uh, that are going to change us, uh, that are going to have us hating people, uh, that are going to have us hating our parents, that are going to have us hating men, things that are going to have us hating women. Lord God, we pray against these things in the name of Jesus Christ and any and all of their forms, any and all of their legions and adversaries. Lord God, we pray, amen, for a healthy endocrine system. We pray, Heavenly Father, for a healthy system of hormonal balance in the name of Jesus Christ. For many children are growing up in imbalanced homes, Heavenly Father, uh, imbalanced homes because of superiority, racial superiority, gender superiority. Lord God, let us understand that nobody is independent from you. Uh, there is no such thing as can be strong and independent from the Lord. There is no such thing as a separation between uh, Jesus Christ and ourselves if we expect uh, to be successful, if we expect to have good success. Your Bible says, your word says, Lord God, to meditate on the Lord day and night and meditate on your word day and night. Amen. And in it, we will have good success. Anything that we attain in this world, Heavenly Father, outside of your name, outside of your will, amen, for our life, Heavenly Father, it's not to be regarded as good success. It's the world's success, Heavenly Father. And it buffs up. It buffs up. It puffs us up, uh, Heavenly Father. It is yeast. Uh, but we pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that we bring everything, amen, everything under the obedience of Jesus Christ. We bring our careers. We bring our ambitions. We bring our relationships. We bring our addictions. We bring our hobbies. Anything that we love to do, Lord, we want to bring it to you and pray for a scrubbing. Uh, we want to pray, Lord, for a spiritual audit. Amen. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the things that you approve of us that we can continue to do as hobbies and dreams and ambitions and relationships let it be. But the things, Heavenly Father, that you take away, uh, the things, Heavenly Father, that you strike out, uh, the things, Heavenly Father, that you cast out, uh, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ for us to have a spirit of acceptance of your word, a spirit of acceptance of your will, uh, and a, a spirit of acceptance to understand that your ways are not our ways. And the things of this world, Heavenly Father, are not the ways of the Most High, for you created us to be in the world, uh, but not of the world, Heavenly Father. Uh, when you depart uh, in part as seed, a tree seed into the ground. Uh, the seed is implanted into the ground to be in the ground, uh, but to not to be of the ground. Uh, the tree is supposed to grow forth its roots, to sprout forth its leaves and branches, to grow outside of the ground, to grow above and above it only, Lord God, as you have imparted into us, amen, and seeds for your heavenly kingdom uh, to be in this world, Lord, but to not to be of the world, Lord God. So we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that we never lose sight of this tree. 
truth. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we never lose sight of this revelation. Lord God, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing our nervous systems. Lord God, we want to thank you for healing our nervous systems. Any nervous disorder whatsoever, we pray healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord God, for healing from any and all skin disease in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray healing for any and all skin disease in the name of Jesus Christ, for the leprosies and things, Lord, uh, that we see happening, amen, on the outer body, our representative of what's happening to the spiritual body, Lord God. This is why we pray, Lord God, against skin color. We pray against false superiority with one having a skin color over another, with one thinking they have more intelligence over another, with one thinking they're more quote-unquote civilized than one another. Heavenly Father, we pray against uh, this wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against this notion that they have brotherly love, uh, that they love the Father, but your word says they do not love their brother. We pray against these false doctrines, Heavenly Father, that are out here, Lord God, to lead people astray. Lord God, we pray for all vitamin and nutrient deficiencies. Lord God, we pray for the vitamin and fish, uh, nutrient deficiencies uh, that we are not putting into the physical body and then the things we are not putting into our spiritual body. Lord God, we pray against birth defects. Lord God, for many mothers and fathers are malnutrition and their children are paying the price. Uh, so we want to pray, Lord God, uh, a miracle in this area. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, for a suddenly to occur in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you today, Heavenly Father, uh, for continuing to cast out all unclean spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. And those that soon to try to return with their brothers, Lord God, we pray that your war angels, your cherubim, amen, are standing strong waving their swords of fire heavenly father to prevent to re-entry amen for we have been set free amen your word says that this enemy we shall see no more in the name of jesus christ lord god we thank you for healing and protection on these roads from traffic accidents and incidents lord god there is someone on the road right now that is driving uh that is very tired uh that is swerving lord god we pray right now lord that they are alert we pray for their energy to return to them we pray for their stamina to return to them right now heavenly father amen there is someone on the road right now driving recklessly heavenly father uh, recklessly with the spirit of arrogance lord god and snow and rain and sleet we pray that a suddenly occurs in their mind lord that they realize that uh for god we live amen and for god we die we are not here simply for the things of this world we are not here to accumulate riches and wealth and names for ourselves we are not here to have our name exalted for there is only one name that is worthy of being exalted and that is the name of jesus christ Bless your almighty, precious name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for protection against the inclement weather that we see out here in the land today. We pray for protection against inclement weather in all of its forms in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord God, we want to lift up today, amen, Apostle Dondrum Jones, amen, the, the shepherd of the Bethel Family Worship Center. We pray lifting up for Pastor Mac Jones, their children and grandchildren. We pray, amen, over all of the church in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing unmission, uh, missionary Lynn Lily Stembridge in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for restoring her. We thank you for re-energizing her. We thank you for restoring her in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray uh, for Mr. Casey Roberts, Lord God. We pray for Casey Roberts. We pray for Minister Latrina Cope, Talia, Mary, and family. Lord God, we pray for Shamia Powell. We pray for Desiree Davis, Lord God. Perilyn Minor in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing there the Sharon Spence and Brother Willie Spence. We pray for the Spence and Singleton family in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover them in the blood of the lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for their victory. We thank you for the victory in their life and every area of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we want to pray, Lord God, for Taisha Williams in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray for uh, Taisha Williams, Lord God. We pray for the family of Elder Marty Swain. We thank you for healing them and restoring them in their great time of loss. Lord God, we pray for the Wade family, Lord God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Sister Shea Wallace. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for Scott Bender and Jeanette Smith. We pray covering for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for Loyalty Johnson, amen, and Carolyn Kyra Carter, amen, for Miss Debbie Rock and her family and friends. Lord God, we thank you for Minister Eliza Collins. We thank you for healing Minister Eliza Collins in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing Joe and Joan Green. We thank you for Joe and Joan Green and family. We pray amen tonight over patience, faith, justice, price, joy, Kelby, Marcus, Ricardo, 
and all their children and grandchildren. We pray over them and their households in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over the families of the Pickens family, the Ross family, the Evans, uh, the Richardsons, the Grays, the Collins, the Ingrams, the Cronshaws, the Olivers, the Todds, the Frambros, uh, the Clarks, uh, the Kyles, amen, the Grants, the Smiths, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to pray over all the families, Lord God, all the families past present and future we thank you uh lord god for being able to lift up these names amen to the name of jesus christ heavenly father we pray for uh, emma burns lord god we pray amen for irene and jasper richardson we thank you for their longevity heavenly father we thank you for healing their bodies we thank you for restoring them in the name of jesus christ Heavenly Father, we pray for Elder Anne and family. We pray for Elder Anne, Elder Wanda, Elder Gwen Weston in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for Pastor Dorothy Gardner in the name of Jesus Christ. Her, her family, and her ministries, we pray uh, that your holy anointing continue to flow from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray amen today uh, for Pastor Brian and family. We thank you for multiplying him. We thank you for covering him and protecting him as he delivers your word. Heavenly Father, we want to pray amen tonight uh, for ministry. Minister Hernandez, amen, from Minister Hector and Minister Amanda Hernandez. We pray a covering over all of their family. We pray a continued restoration at the time of loss and need. We pray covering over their children and grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray, amen, over our Elder Ralph and Elder Gina Laborde and their family. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing them. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for restoring them, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Lord God, for all they have poured back into your kingdom we pray a restoration and return in the name of jesus christ heavenly father we want to pray today amen for elder lorraine trim we thank you for saving and healing elder lorraine trim in the name of jesus christ lord god we want to thank you heavenly father for healing amen marlene trim camille trim the entire trim family in the name of jesus christ we pray and decree and declare a man uh, covering for them, Lord God. We pray uh, a healing, a restoration for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight, amen, for Minister Landy Phillips. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Minister Wilcox and their family, Lord God, for Minister Tina, uh, Tia, and uh, Renee Pope in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over Minister Graham, Heavenly Father, as you have called your servants from afar, calling your servants from all around to call to do your work. We pray for covering over her in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for our brother Bernard Childs, amen, Shateria Childs. We pray covering for the Childs family, Lord God. We pray healing for Mia and uh, Cornelius Goldwire. We pray healing for Maya and Cornelius Goldwire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for little Kevin who is a need in prayer. He is in need of prayer. Lord, we pray that all unclean things are loosed over these children. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of obedience. Amen. The spirit of discipline, Heavenly Father. The spirit of decorum and professionalism uh, and leadership, Heavenly Father, to bestow upon these children in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, as the enemy is wrestling hard for their spirits. Uh, the enemy is wrestling hard for their spirits. Uh, but we know, Heavenly Father, we have the victory in Christ Jesus in the name name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight. Amen. Lifting up uh, Noah Lucas, Heavenly Father. Lifting up Noah Lucas, uh, Minister uh, Betty Ward, Minister uh, Amen. Johnny Ward, Lord God. We thank you for healing them, Lord God. We thank you for strengthening them. We thank you for restoring them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over Sister Greta Sims, Lord God. We want to thank you for delivering her from this hospital, Lord God. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for restoring her vitals in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for casting out the depression in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for healing her and turning her around in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, Miss Melissa Velo and her family, Lord God. We thank you for covering them. We thank you for covering them. We thank you for fighting for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we look up, lift up Becky McCall and her family, Lord God. We thank you uh, for her continuing to be the standard bearer. Uh, we pray for her mind. Uh, we pray for her energy. We pray, Heavenly Father, for her victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord God, we want to pray today. Amen. For the Grisanti family. Lord God, we want to pray for the Grisanti family, all of the faith farm families in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they are covered. Amen. We are praying that they are free. Amen. We pray that there is no more bondage. Amen. No more addictions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the new graduates of these programs in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today. Amen. For Miss 
uh, Lisa, uh, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin, amen. We want to thank you, amen, for Miss Malay's grandma, Jimmy Marie Lewis. Uh, we thank you for healing Heavenly Father from his illness. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing Larry Yaskett, amen, Mr. Jim's cousin, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing and restoring their minds. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for restoring their minds, healing their bodies in Jesus' name. Lord God, we pray for salvation for Robert. We pray, Heavenly Father, if Robert has not already been saved, we pray heavenly father that he come down off the fence uh, that he come down off the fence and try jesus amen we we pray amen for a suddenly a revelation a road to damascus experience lord god to rein us in heavenly father uh to rein us in from those in the highest positions to the lowest positions in the name of jesus christ heavenly father we thank you today amen we thank you tonight amen for willie king and the operations lord god we thank you for larry fobbs lord god we want to pray not only for east side elementary we pray for all elementary Elementary schools, all preschools, all middle schools, all high schools. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, that we go back. Amen. That we go back, Heavenly Father, not to go back to stay back, uh, but to go back to remember as a memorial of the things that you have delivered us from in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today. Amen. For the Williamson family, we thank you for healing and restoring the Williamson family. We thank you for healing uh, Nick Lewis and family. We thank you for healing, for you are still in the healing miracle working business. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord God, for Emily Blackwood, Tanya Richardson. Lord God, we pray for Chris. Amen. Mr. Chris Martins, Heavenly Father, we thank you for restoring his oxygen levels to the proper levels, uh, bringing them up where they were too low and bringing them down where they are too high. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Lord God, uh, that these things come to pass as what you have decreed and declared in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us not be afraid, Heavenly Father, let us not be afraid, amen, to do what is right in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight, Lord God, for any and everyone that is standing in the need of prayer, any and everyone, Lord God, that is listening to this broadcast, any and everyone around the world who are not listening, Lord God, we lift them all up to you, Heavenly Father, uh, because you, amen, hear their voices. You, Heavenly Father, hear their cries. We cannot hear them, Heavenly Father, but you do. Uh, you hear everyone crying out in the prisons, everyone crying out in the catacombs and the tombs, everyone that is crying out in school, people that are crying out in the homes and marriage. Lord God, you hear all their cries. You hear the cries of those who are suffering in warfare around the world. You hear the cries of those who are being bombed, their children maimed in the name of Lord God, whatever name people are doing it in. But we know it is not the name of Jesus because you uh, did not come to kill, amen. You uh, did not come to destroy man, but you came to save man, Lord God. So anyone that are committing these atrocities around the world, Lord God, are not doing it on your behalf. They're doing it on behalf of their father, uh, which is in hell. And we want to thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for saving us, Heavenly Father, for saving us from these false doctrines, saving us, Heavenly Father, from these false truths. Uh, for the your word says, let God be true and let every man be a liar. Blessed be your almighty name today. So we pray for anyone, amen, tonight uh, that you are healed uh, by the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing. We thank you, Lord God, for pushing. We thank you for pressing in. Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for pushing in and we thank you for pressing in. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, as we march and advance into ranks, step by step, moving forward, Heavenly Father, with the armor of God, on with the armor of God, with the shield of faith, uh, the sword of the spirit, uh, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Heavenly Father, the girdle of truth, and the gospel of peace, for beautiful are those who bring the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you today, Lord God, for your word. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, Lord God, tonight for your prayer, Heavenly Father, we pray for all our special needs, brothers and sisters that are out here, Lord God. Uh, many of them cannot eat and feed themselves. Many of them cannot walk. They cannot clean themselves. Lord God, we pray a special prayer for them, uh, their caregivers, Lord God, who are sacrificing everything to be with them. We pray a restoration over any and all of their finances that have been lost uh, because of these ailments and sicknesses of taking care of loved ones. We pray tonight for a restoration of their re the resurrection of their resources, Lord God, that it return back to them 10,000 fold in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to thank you Heavenly Father, for those who are still in bereavement, from those, Heavenly Father, who are still dealing with the loss of their loved ones. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to thank you, gracious God. We want to thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, tonight for the victory. We want to thank you tonight, Father, for the victory, uh, not just over in society, but over our own personal selves. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen, and amen. 
blessings brothers and sisters blessed be the name of the lord jesus christ amen thank you all of you for joining us here tonight for the word of god for joining us tonight for his intercession to lift up to him our concerns heavenly father to lift up uh to him heavenly father all of our requests because it is only by your name heavenly father that is any success in anyone so we want to thank you tonight uh, we want to thank you tonight, Lord. And brothers and sisters, please come and join us on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. for prayer. Uh, please join us at Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for Bible study and Sunday mornings at 1130 a.m. Amen for the word of God. We want to thank you, brothers and sisters. And please, if you have any uh, submission requests whatsoever, you can submit them to Revelation of Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. Uh, and many individuals will just leave uh, requests down in the comment section. You are all free to do that whatever you choose for. You don't have to put your personal name, personal contact information, but just a generalized description of what the, the ailment is. And we thank you uh, for the victory, Lord God, over these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We surrender them all to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Lord. Uh, we thank you. And brothers and sisters, again, uh, my name is Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries. And I would like to thank all of you for joining us tonight. Amen for amen intercessory prayer. All of you have a very blessed night and a blessed rest of week. Thank you.